probably seen those two hour long bricks builder tutorials on YouTube. Yeah, we're not doing that here. This is the short, honest crash course for Elementor users and full disclosure. I am an Elementor fan girl who actually bought and decided to give bricks a proper try. Not because it's faster or some magic builder, but because there are a few things that genuinely stood out. First, you're editing the actual site, not a preview that lags or needs to refresh every time you click something. What you see is what's really happening, and it feels a lot more reliable when you're walking block by block. Second, styling in bricks is just cleaner. You can actually create and reuse global CSS styles properly, so you're not constantly copying and pasting design tweaks between elements. It makes consistency easier, especially on bigger sites. Third, you don't need a bunch of extra plugins to get basic stuff done. And there are no monthly or yearly fees. You pay once and that's it. You've got access to build unlimited sites. That alone made me curious enough to rebuild a full page using bricks. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how it works, where it's great, where it's still a bit rough, and whether switching from Elementor makes sense for you. And I'll say this upfront, if you're coming from Elementor, there are a few things that will trip you up, but also a few that will make you go, why didn't Elementor do it like this? Well, let's get into it. All right, let's start with the basics, getting bricks installed. Now, unlike Elementor, where you just go to the plugin section and install it for free, Bricks is a premium theme. Not a plugin which means you can't use it on top of Hello or Astra, you actually replace your entire theme with Bricks. Whether that's good or bad really depends on how you build sites. If you're used to Elementor working with any theme, this might feel like a limitation. But the upside is, since Brick controls everything, there are no weird conflicts with theme headers, footers, or layout templates. It's all handled in one place. So in a weird way, the setup's actually cleaner. You're not digging through three different setting panels just to fix spacing. To get started, go to your WordPress dashboard, open the theme section, click Add New, and upload the zip you just downloaded. Once it's installed, activated, and that's it, Bricks is live. Now, just a heads up, you land on a completely blank canvas with no starter kits like Elementor has. It's just you and the builder. It might feel a bit bare bones at first, especially if you're used to Elementor holding your hand. But honestly, if you've built even a couple of sites before, it's kind of refreshing. Alright, once Bricks is installed and running, there's one thing I would recommend doing before you start dragging stuff onto the page. And that's setting up your theme styles. This is actually where Brick feels very different from Elementor. If you've used Elementor, you probably know how global colors of fonts can sometimes feel unreliable. With Bricks, that's not really an issue. You just go to the Bricks menu in the sidebar, click on Theme section, and from there, you can set your global fonts, heading sizes, colors, buttons, styles, even your spacing rules, all in one clean interface. If you're building client sites or just care about keeping things consistent, this saves a ton of time. One change updates across the entire site instantly. All right, theme styles are in. Now let's actually build something and see what it's like working inside Bricks. Here's a homepage I built using Bricks. And right away, there are a few things that feel noticeably different compared to Elementor. First up, the structure. In Bricks, every time you add a section, it automatically includes a container inside it. That might not sound like a big deal, but it makes it way easier to control things like max width without adding extra elements or hacks. It's built in. And if you're not editing a preview like an Elementor, this is the actual page and when you change something, just real-time updates as you build. It feels way more responsive, especially when you're working section by section. Now in terms of structure, it's still familiar. You've got sections, containers and elements but the biggest difference in how you style things. In Elementor, you're usually styling one element at a time, but honestly, it gets messy fast and it's hard to scale. In Bricks, instead of manually styling every single heading or button, you just create reusable classes. Like I've got one here called Heading Large and another one called Button Primary. You style them once and reuse them everywhere. So if I change the font size or color here, it instantly updates across the entire site. Elementor tries to do this with global widgets or copy-paste styling, but it's nowhere near as clean. And honestly, it gets messy fast. 
Next, take a look at the structure panel. In bricks, it's always visible and that makes a big difference. Moving things around, duplicating sections, reorganizing your layout, it just feels more organized, especially when you're working on a bigger page with lots of elements. Now, even though bricks is pretty lean, I did notice things slow down a bit once I added real content, like images, videos, sliders and more. So I ran it through Airlift, a free speed plugin for WordPress. It cleaned things up right away, our new CSS, lazy loading, all the core web vital stuff without me touching any settings. And if you're building out a full site and want to keep things fast, it's definitely worth a shot. Link is in the description. All right, now let's get to responsiveness. Bricks handles this the way CSS is supposed to work. You design for desktop and the styles cascade down automatically. Then if you need to make a change on laptop or mobile, that change only applies to that specific view. It won't randomly break your desktop layout, which if you've used Elementor for long enough, you know can happen more often than it should. And if I want two columns to stack on mobile, I don't have to rebuild anything. I just tweak the layout on that class, set it to one FR, and now that change applies everywhere that class is used. One change, done. So you are just building this one page, Bricks already feels more consistent, easier to keep clean, and honestly less frustrating. Now to be clear, Elementor is still a great builder. It's one of the easiest ways to start designing in WordPress, and for a lot of sites, it just works. But if you're hitting limits, or you're tired of stacking plugins and workarounds just to keep things running smoothly, Bricks gives you a cleaner, more scalable way to build. If this helped you understand how Bricks works, drop a like and if you've tried it or you're thinking of switching, let me know in the comments how it's going. Click here if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Click here and I'll see you there.